Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the last Windows 11 24H2 update or build in the year 2024. Well, Microsoft announced that this is the last build for this year. They won't release any new builds, even for 23H2 and any other Insider Channel build. So we have the last build of the year in the Dev Channel with the build 26120.2705. And this is a smaller build, which includes a few improvements for Copilot Plus PCs and not a lot of things for normal users but of course we're gonna cover everything that there is to it in this build because it's the last build so I think it's worth mentioning we're ending the year with a dev channel build so if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video so as I've said in a previous build Microsoft is enabling these new copilot plus or AI features experiences on certain devices that are copilot plus PCs but have AMD or N Intel processors and also AMD and Intel provide a driver, an official driver for NPU that will basically allow you to test these features on certain Copilot Plus PCs that have this NPU capability. This build is also introducing live captions and real time translation. By enhancing the communication on AMD and Intel powered Copilot Plus PCs, Microsoft will add live captions and real time translation, which will be available for more than 44 languages into English, including speakers in real time calls, recordings, and streamed content. And also on Snapdragon powered Copilot Plus PCs, Microsoft is beginning to roll out the ability to do real-time translation to Chinese simplified. Supported languages include Arabic, Bulgarian, Czech, Danish, German, Greek, English, Spanish, Estonian, Finnish, France, Hindi, Hungarian, and more. I think this is pretty interesting. And this is basically all there is to it in this build, all the latest new additions, the addition of this live translation feature that, as I've said, and as you know, is available only for Copilot Plus PCs. As you can see, the dev channel in the past few weeks or months has been focused on Copilot Plus PCs. So I'm really curious if you can let me know below in the comments what percentage of you or who is watching this video from a Copilot Plus PC. Because from what I know, I don't think a lot of people are excited about this or use them, but I just want to see if people are really interested in these kind of things. Of course, we have some known issues in this build. One known issue that may affect all users is uh, the one which can appear after you do a system reset under system recovery and then using the reset this PC function and the build could mistakenly appear as 26100 instead of 26120 so I think this is a small issue and other than that we have some known issues related to recall click to do and also live captions in real-time translation if you're interested in those of course you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post for more information about that so basically this was the video for today please let me know below in the comments what kind of videos you would want me to to do in the next two weeks where we won't have any new builds from Microsoft. If you want me to go to the Windows 11 optimization route or you want me to do other kind of tips and tricks or tweaks in Windows 11, please let me know a few ideas in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.